What's up, peptide fam? Okay, today I have a new peptide for you, and this is a hard to find one, and, and yeah, pretty uh, much a weird one. It's called DISP, Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. For those who are having trouble sleeping, this might be a godsend, but uh, I'm gonna find out tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix up my first batch ever and give this a shot and see if this uh, helps improve my sleep. Being a fireman, paramedic for 25, going on 26 years now um, dude, we have the worst sleep schedules ever we work 24 hours on and off 48 the majority of us but um, yeah those uh those calls in the middle of the night waking up man we have the worst uh, sleep schedules possible and uh, our circadian rhythms just get completely uh, crushed so let's go over DISP man hopefully we all can get some good sleep on this right so let's check it out let's see what we got here let me read the protocol book first. DISP. Then we're gonna mix it up, do all the good stuff. Overview. DISP stands for Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. Similar peptides found in large concentrations in human mother's milk. It addresses sleep disturbances, resets circadian clock, supports the nervous system and hormonal system. How does it work? DISP works by targeting several sites in the brain and brainstem that are linked to sleep and relaxation. It, inter it interacts with the hormones serotonin, melatonin, and the neurotransmitter GABA, which all play a crucial role in following and staying asleep. DISP has been known to uh, has been shown to increase endocrine function during sleep, leading to higher releases of growth hormone, thyroid hormone, and testosterone. Here's your benefits: improve sleep, reduce chronic pain, fight stress, boost brain brain power which I need that, <laughs> it can help with depression, supports support for alcohol and opioid withdrawal, uh, stimulates luteinizing hormone and growth hormone, growth, growth hormone releasing hormone. Side effects, same nonsense in this book and on all of them. They all, have, they all have those, whatever. So here we go for dosing. 100 micrograms, three hours before bed daily. Continue with the dose based upon response. The goal is to restore normal sleep patterns and then reduce down to 50 micrograms one times a week until your sleep stabilizes. All right, so let's go over how we're going to mix that. Uh, let me go over my notes first. Okay, here's my notes. It's my, my Mozzies, El Glutamine. Okay, El Glutamine. DSP, 5 milligrams Delta Sleep Inducing Peptides. Protocol again, 100 micrograms, 3 hours before bed daily. To restore normal until you restore normal sleep patterns and then reduce it down to 50 micrograms one times a week. All right, so this is another one. It's in micrograms, so the dosing is super small. So we're going to have to use a 0.33 cc syringe and, and but a 100 cc, uh, sorry, a 1 cc syringe uh, to mix everything up with. But you can also mix it up with that either way. You just have to do more injections back and forth with the bacterial step water. So I crunched the numbers, and this is the best uh, I can come up with, the best way. So we're, we're going to mix 2.5, because the dosing is only 100 micrograms, we're going to mix 2.5 cc's of bacterial step water, a.k.a. 250 units into the vial. And then we're going to use a 0.3 cc syringe, which is also a 30 unit syringe. And then we're going to inject 5 units for 100 micrograms. For 50 units, we're going to inject 2.5 units. Which that you're not gonna get 2.5 units, so just round it up to one of the small little lines. So I'm gonna round it up a little higher, three units, which is gonna give you 60 micrograms. Damn, was that even in the picture? All right, I'm gonna give it 60 milligrams. All right, so basically one vial will last you uh, 50 days. So one milligram will give you 10 days if you're taking 100 micrograms per day. So if you're taking 100 micrograms per day, you're gonna get 50 days out of it. All right, so. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, here's where we mix everything up, all right? So we gotta get two and a half of this syringe out of here and into here. This one might be a little difficult because that's gonna be a lot of fluid in this little vial. So we might have to, halfway through, take out some air to add more in. Otherwise, I might get overpressurized in there. But let's see what happens. Let's give this a shot. All right. 
here's my di five milligrams of disp get our alcohol prep wipe down the surface pop the lid all right so we're all nice and clean here all right so here's here's our 0 0.3 0 0.3 cc syringe <clears throat> All right, so remember, you always got to add, since, since there's no ventilation in these, you always have to add air in first before whatever you're, whatever you're taking out, you have to add air in, the same amount of air in before you take it out. Kind of pretty excited to try this one tonight. I got the worst sleep in history. All right, here's 100. So these are vacuum packed right here. So let's see how much we can put in here for. If it if it doesn't get over pressurized, you know what I'm saying. So one thing I always get to mention in my videos. Okay, there's one. So one thing I always get to mention in my videos is that if you click on the video description, I always put the protocol, my personal notes, how to mix everything up, and for the particular peptide. And I also put um, I always try to remember to add a peptide calculator. So I get a ton of questions on how to mix stuff up, and I don't mind helping you guys out whatsoever. But um, it's just learning learning curve. If you figure out how to use the peptide calculator, then you can play with your own dosages and stuff. So, all right, here comes two in here. Another thing, um, yeah, so I leave the, the, let's see, I cover that, cover that. What am I missing here? All right. We got two in. It's not, yeah, look, see how, see how the plunger comes back? All right, it's overpressurized. So what we're going to do here, because it, it'll, since it's overpressurized, it's going to be hard to add more fluid in here. See, look how much fluid's in there already. All right, so what we're going to do we're going to take out keep the keep the fluid down we're going to pull some air out of there all right so we just pulled all the way back so now we still have a negative uh, suction in here so we got 200 in now 200 units we just need 50 more units just a half a cc and we'll be good to go All right, there we go. Boom, half. Okay. Now this should go in nice and easy. No problem. Look at that. Plunger didn't come back. Our pressurizing is perfect. You, best way to equalize the pressure in there is I usually grab this and I'll yank this out. All right. By doing that, now the pressure is completely it's completely equal in here. So then when you go to draw out, you just pressurize what you need and you're good to go. So, like I said, five five units. See, because you only got ten on here, so five. What are you gonna do here? Go to go to here. I mean. That was estimate, yeah, five, but I'm going to tell you why it's a lot easier to use a 0 .33, 0 .3 cc syringe because, look, it's only a total 30 units here, and five is super easy to see. But you see what I'm saying here? Like, okay, there's 2.5. So if you're doing going to do the – if you stabilize your sleep – then just bring, just pull it to three. It's three Z, three little lines, you know. 
it's easy to see there. That's it. So once this all mixes up, it's starting, pretty much is. That's it. You're gonna put five cc's or five units of air in there, and we're gonna draw out five for our 100 micrograms per day. That's it. All right, I think I covered everything. Let me know if I'm missing anything. Go ahead, feel free to comment. And um, happy New Year's, y'all. And I hope you all have a fantastic 2025. Catch y'all later.